All right, today we're going to be doing a follow-up review to the M12 uh, comparison I did recently from the Gen 2 to the Gen 3. Uh, as you saw in that video, uh, you know, you could tell that the Gen 3 seemed to be a little bit more powerful over there. So in today's video, I want to see how much more powerful and how, how that stacks up against, uh, you know, this M18 version over here. Obviously, uh, you know, there's always a limit to each tool depending on the job that you're trying to do. So I want to kind of, you know, gauge here today uh, based on some various drill tests. What is the max that I think that you'd be able to utilize that M12 version over there uh, versus the M18? Uh, so what we have here, this is the M12 340420, and this is the Gen 3 hammer drill. Uh, this is rated at 400 inch pounds of torque. Uh, this is the M18 Big Brother. Uh, this is the 280420, and this is 1400 uh, inch pounds. Uh, what we're going to be doing here today is we're just going to be drilling some some test holes through. Uh, you know, a standard uh, two by four. Uh, you know, we'll first start out with just some standard drill bits over here. I'm not gonna get too carried away with these because obviously, if you guys see my other uh, review on that, you know, this thing is well capable of doing that, but you know, I'll go ahead and do it anyways here uh, in this review. Uh, so we'll start out with a three eighths bit, a quarter inch bit. Then we're gonna get up here to some bigger wood uh, bits here. And these are gonna be the uh, bits I'm gonna test. It's gonna be a three eighths, a half inch, a three quarter, one inch, and an inch and a quarter there. So. Uh, my goal here today, you know, as I mentioned there, is really to kind of find the, the limit of this guy. Uh, you know, obviously if we're going to compare, you know, power, this thing is going to shine all day, but, you know, not everybody needs this very, very powerful drill over here. And a lot of times, uh, you know, that, that could, could do it over there. So I want to kind of find that max of where I think you could take that drill over there today. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get to it. All right, so what are my final thoughts on uh, on the comparison here today? Uh, you know, obviously if you saw my, uh, you know, M12 Gen 2 versus Gen 3 version of this hammer drill over there, you know, I kind of was, was uh, telling you guys there in that video, the half inch drill bit that I used in that comparison, I could tell that this Gen 3 was a lot more powerful. So, uh, you know, that led me to believe the bigger bits I, I'll be able to use, uh, you know, with this tool. And, uh, you know, that was, uh, you know, obviously what we saw here today. Uh, you know, so from the comparison, you know, I, you know, obviously these, these drill bits over here, you know, didn't really have a problem with them and that was kind of to be expected. Uh, once we got into the wood bits, you know, as you saw the three eighths and the half inch, this thing M12 over here, I believe you could drill holes all day long with those size. You start getting up into these bigger, the three quarter of the inch and the inch and a quarter, you might start thinking about, you know, do you need to step it up to the, the M18? Now, obviously, if you saw the three quarter and an inch, you know, this M12 drill through them, no problem. But if you noticed in one of the one of the tests there, once I got it got through with the inch, it drilled a hole, the first hole perfectly fine, went through without a problem. I went to the second hole, 
and it got about halfway, then it stopped. And, and that's the auto shut off feature that a lot of these, these newer tools have that's preventing the motor from, from burning up. So uh, what that leads me to believe is if you're drilling holes, uh, you know, quite a few of them, you know, you're probably not going to want to use something like this once you start getting up into that inch hole uh, that you're trying to uh, drill and you're probably going to want to step up into something like that. With that said, yes, it was capable of doing it. So if you just needed to do one hole, you know, I'm confident you could go all the way up to an inch and a half with this thing over here. Obviously, it's not going to be very efficient, but you could get the job done. Uh, so, so just kind of gauge that, you know, as far as, you know, what you're trying to trying to do here. Uh, you know, but again, from a 12 volt lineup, if you would have asked me five years ago, would a 12 volt really be able to do any of these over here? The, the answer would have probably been no. So uh, the fact that this thing is able to drill up to, you know, very large holes, you know, inch and a quarter inch, uh, you know, is pretty impressive, even if that's only one uh, hole that it's being able to drill at a time. Uh, so, so again, you know, I thought that was very impressive there. So uh, hopefully this, this helped you out here today. You know, again, you know, there's always a, the right tool for the right job. So depending on what you're trying to do, hopefully this comparison here kind of helped you gauge, uh, you know, some of the jobs that, that you're doing on, on, on what you would need from a tool standpoint, whether you need this big guy over here for 1400 inch pounds or this little four, 400 inch pound uh, M12 that basically can fit anywhere. It's very lightweight. Uh, would, would satisfy what you're trying to do there for your job. So uh, you know, again, I, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, you know, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, you know, please hit that subscribe. Uh, but again, I hope, I hope this helped you out today and thanks for watching.